Today we'll be discussing proton pump inhibitors. I'll be discussing the pharmacology of proton pump inhibitors, the clinical use of proton pump inhibitors, and the pharmacological treatment of when to use uh, proton pump inhibitors. And then, last but not least, we'll compare proton pump inhibitors. Proton pump inhibitors work by blocking the production of hydrochloric acid. used to heal uh, ulcers caused by, by GERD, which is gastroesophageal reflux disease. So we have basically three types of drugs that we use to control stomach acid. We have antacids, which neutralize gastric pH or gastric acid. These only work for a short period of time. Then we have what we call our H2 blockers, for example, cimetidine, uh, tagamant. These medications are going to suppress the stomach acid. But to actually stop the production of stomach acid, we would take a proton pump inhibitor. For example, here we have omeprazole. So if we get the, the patient omeprazole, we'll be actually blocking the pump or stopping the pump that pumps the hydrogen into the stomach to produce the hydrochloric acid. Currently, we have five proton pump inhibitors on the market. Well, now there are six. Uh, the isomer for Prevacid has come on the market. Uh, two of these happen to be over the counter. Uh, Prevacid is over the counter, and also Prilosec are, are over the counter. We do get uh, faster healing with the proton pump inhibitors. As far as strength wise is concerned, at the very top, we have. Um, proton pump inhibitors were the, 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 the strongest, the most powerful. Then we would go down to our H2s, uh, where these medications are going to suppress the stomach acid. And then for more of an acute treatment, we would have the antacids. Uh, during clinical trials, they were actually only giving proton pump inhibitors um, to the patients at the clinical trial one tablet every 72 hours, and that was enough to control their GERD. We do see uh, typical side effects with proton pump inhibitors, as you would any other medication. Um, in my personal opinion, some of these side effects may be contributed to the fact that the patient may have um, GERD or an ulcer or Helicobacter pylori. So the fact that they have abdominal pain, uh, diarrhea, nausea may not necessarily be per the medication as with uh, what we're actually trying to treat. In general, Proton pump inhibitors are well tolerated in patients. So one of the big questions that always comes up is how safe are proton pump inhibitors? And actually now we're probably closer to 20 years um, that proton pump inhibitors have, have been on the market and been prescribed to patients. And most of these have been for long-term therapy. Uh, you typically do not see patients taking proton pump inhibitors for a short period of time. Uh, for eight weeks, for example, you'll see the proton pump inhibitors used uh, on a uh, much, much longer basis. Uh, so we'll look at uh, our proton pump inhibitor safety used in pregnancy, uh, in geriatric patients, renal liver failure with other drugs, and long-term use. So very important to talk about proton pump inhibitors in pregnancy. And acids are considered the first line of therapy during pregnancy. Uh, it's very important to let your patients know that proton pump inhibitors are not an, an, an acid. Uh, they, they make you that con confused. So it's very important to discuss that with your patients. Uh, a side note before we discuss this. Uh, so for pregnancy categories, so B is no evidence for risk in humans. C, risk cannot be ruled out. Now, the reason that this is important is all proton pump inhibitors, except a meprazole, is in the category B. A meprazole is a category C. The reason that this is important 
is that earlier I mentioned there were two proton pump inhibitors o over the counter. One being omeprazole or Prilosec, the other one being Prevacid. So between the two, Prevacid is safer th in pregnant women than Prevacid, uh, than, uh, excuse me, than Prilosec. Prilosec or omeprazole is a category C. So again, your pregnant women should, if should take a, an acid as first line therapy, then take Prevacid. But they should stay away from Prilosec or a, a slash Omeprazole, Prilosec being Bram, Omeprazole being the generic. Talking about uh, with geriatric use, uh, again, uh, seem to be safe with, with geriatrics. With renal and liver failure, um, when we compare the two, um, we see that they're almost uh, almost identical uh, with uh, with a patient who has who has taken medication, a healthy patient, and a patient who is uh, uh, has renal impairment. And again, they recommend no dose adjustments in patients uh, patients with uh, uh, liver. Uh, impairment. If it's moderate liver impairment, they recommend the normal dosage. If it is uh, moderate to severe, uh, they do recommend half the dose or every other day. And if we recall back earlier, I said that they were using one proton pump inhibitor every 72 hours, and that was enough to control their GERD during the clinical trials. Uh, with other drugs, uh, I, I will only mention uh, one thing here, that, which is very important. Uh, you may see is with warfarin or Coumadin, uh, there is a potential of increase in the INR. So uh, that is very important to uh, to to make note of with uh, with uh, omeprazole. And again, we see that um, with the next team as well. Long-term use. Again, we have seen that they're safe. Uh, no clinical evidence to show that there are problems taking this for long-term use, uh, and they have no have no evidence to link long-term use of proton pump inhibitors with stomach cancer, infections, or, or uh, any type of, of uh, nutritional problem. Then we're talking about proton pump inhibitors in use with gastroesophageal reflux disease, with peptic ulcers, and also be discussing Helicobacter pylori. So, discussing GERD, which is the gastroesophageal reflux disease, some things that can make it worse, GERD, 